Hi guys and welcome back to my kitchen. This is the vegan grandma here and we are going to make a vegan pot pie. Um, I went on earlier with recipe for southern biscuits and I wasn't supposed to cook them. So I have, let me turn on the light here. It light's so harsh. I have made another batch of biscuits that we're gonna put on the top of the pot pie. This is my first time making this recipe and I'll go over the ingredients, but I've gotta show you something where, look at this day. It is pouring, because everything looks terrible from um, Hurricane Nicole, who came through in October. So it's pretty bland, my flowers are gone. It completely killed my bushes and trees look pretty sparse, but they're coming back, the green's coming back. But this is my day in Bermuda, which they say that a day in Bermuda with rain is better than a day anywhere else, even with sunshine, so we shall see. Okay, so we'll go over these ingredients. And again, this is my first time cooking this recipe. So, come along with me, it should be interesting. All right, for the ingredients, we're gonna take, God, I hate that shadow, but I don't have proper lighting in here. We're gonna take, uh, chop up three quarters of a cup of onions. We've got a clove, a large clove of minced garlic. Um, I have vegetable broth and frozen vegetables, two cups of frozen vegetables, two cups of veggie broth, about a quarter of a cup of sweetened, or I'm sorry, unsweetened almond milk, about a quarter of a cup of unbleached all-purpose flour, and some bay leaves here, and my batch of uncooked southern biscuits, vegan biscuits, and they are so good. Um, let's see, let me get around here. Here they are. So we'll just have biscuits on top of biscuits. So those are the ingredients and let's get to this recipe. All right, so three quarter of a cup of chopped onions is about a half of a medium onion, so this will be cool. And then what we're gonna do in a saucepan for about five to seven minutes, we're just gonna um, tenderize the onions and garlic together and the recipe which again is from uh, the lady by the name of Dana hold on just a second let me get let's see if I, the minimalist baker.com is her website fantastic recipes I have done many of her recipes this this one is my first time doing it but I have done many of her recipes and they are phenomenal she does a great job they have flavor they taste good um, they're not hard to do as a matter of fact oh, they're very simple to do I won't be editing that out because I don't know how to do that but okay so I already have my oven set to or preheated to 425 and here's my pan instead of she calls for a couple of tablespoons of olive oil I'm not going to do a couple of tablespoons of olive oil because as I've said previously in other videos or online or in chats um, I'm trying to cut back on the fats that I eat because I get plenty of fats and I get plenty of protein don't let anybody tell you any different. Vegans get plenty of protein, and they get plenty of complete proteins. Anyway, that's, that's my rant for this video. So, I'm going to pour some, I've turned on the burner, I'm going to pour some veggie broth in there, and that's what I'm going to cook the onions and the garlic in. And I'm doing this in a saucepan, not a skillet. And you'll see why in just a few. So there is the onion. Add in the garlic. We'll let that cook for about, oh, I don't know, five to seven minutes on medium, medium high heat. And we will have sauteed those together and we'll go from there. 
Oh, this prop, this prop. Okay, so we have sauteed the garlic and onion in a little bit of the veggie broth. And I'm going to add the flour and whisk it in. Now this is probably where you would want to be cooking this with olive oil, but I am adding the flour and whisking it in. And I'm going to have to add a little bit more broth. Trying to save on fat, folks. When I began my vegan journey, I weighed 207 pounds. I was real chunky. And now I weigh about 160, give or take. And I'm five foot eight, so it's not bad. I mean, I don't want to be a toothpick. My goal was to get healthy, and I feel much better. And I've shared before that I was just tired and trying to keep up with my grandkids when I took them to the Super Bowl was an issue. Okay, this is, this is just not working great. All right, I have whisked this in. We're gonna see how this does. Again, this is an experiment. And then I am going to um, slowly whisk in the broth. Maybe that's it, maybe I'm not moving fast enough. Oh, oh shoot. <laughs> making a mess, making a mess. I had pre-measured everything, as I've probably said before. Let me turn this heat up just a little bit more. I've got it on medium, but my electric stove seems to cook very, very slowly when it's on medium, so I have to put it, like, on medium high. <clears throat> but no, so, yeah, took two of my grandkids to the Super Bowl in San Francisco, well, actually, Santa Clara, the Levi Stadium out there. I don't like the 49ers. Sorry, California people, but um, I could hardly keep up with them. I did. I forced myself to. And at that time, they were 17 and 14. This isn't thickening like I think it should. Well, we'll see. We'll continue on. But anyway, so yeah, it took a lot of energy to keep up with those kiddos, and I decided then that I needed to get in shape because I want to be able to keep up with them, to take them places and do things with them. At the same time, um, I had some other health issues going on, and so, yeah, it was veganism for me. No more animal fats, no more animal products, period. It started out for health reasons and eventually it has just turned into some ethical reasons and now I just freak out when I have to look at dead animals on a plane. All right. Anyway. I'm going to add the bay leaves and the almond milk. And we're just letting this thicken at this point which it is, just slowly. So just for another different view. Ooh. <laughs> Sorry about that. This is what we're looking at right now. So I'm just gonna let that cook for probably about 10 minutes and thicken up. All right, so we have the thickening going on here and it's looking good. I think it's looking fine. And so I'm going to add the mixed vegetables and let them cook for about five minutes. What's wrong with this thing? I must have done something to my tripod. Portable tripod. Very small tripod. Okay, so I'm going to mix that up and let it cook for about five minutes. That's looking like good ingredients. and check back in with you. Okay, so I added just a bit of salt, a bit of pepper. We're just kind of simmering this on medium heat. Ooh, that's great. Sorry about that. We have about a minute left. 
and then we will put this together and get it in the oven. That's where we All are. Right. So we've mixed everything together. The oven's already preheated. I'm going to pour the filling in this eight by eight pan or baking dish. And then I'll pull the bay leaves out. You don't want you don't want those in there. Uh oh. Oh good. Now it's preheated to 425. I had turned it off earlier by mistake because I used my timer. Okay. Let me get those bay leaves out. Up. Great. Now I can't find them. Maybe I should have taken them out before I put them in the pan. Or the baking dish. Here's mine. Nobody wants to get a bite of that. Ooh. <laughs> okay. And the last one. And this does smell nice, you guys. Okay. Now we are going to put our unbaked biscuits right on top. I can't wait. And it is only about 3.25 p.m. here. So, and this is for dinner, but I wanted to do a video during the day because I do them in the evening. And most of the time I do them on Friday evening when I've had a little bit of wine because that's my wine night. So there we go. I put nine biscuits of those little biscuits on there. I also put foil on a baking sheet, obviously and set this on here in case there's any overflow. So now I'm going to pop these in. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna kinda cheat. I'm gonna go ahead and cook these so I don't waste them. And I'll get these out in about 15 minutes, but we're only gonna cook this for about 20 to 30 minutes. So we'll check back then. I'm gonna put it in the oven now and we'll be back with the finished product. All right, one thing that I forgot to show you guys, same thing as when we were cooking the biscuits, I forgot to brush on some Earth Balance or vegan, whatever vegan burger, um, butter, vegan butter that you use. I am just brushing on, I have Earth Balance on the top here. which they've only been in the oven about five minutes, so we're cool. But I forgot to do that. So that's that. Back in. And we will check on it in about 10 minutes for those biscuits that I put to the side to not waste them, and then we'll have about 15 more minutes to go with the pot pie. Oops. Okay, so we are completely finished. You can see it's still bubbling and steaming, and it smells great. So, um, it looks good. We're gonna let it sit for about five or 10 minutes because it's hot as all and then we'll give it a taste test and see how it is. So yes, this is dinner, but I'll get, just give it a taste test to see how it does. I'm not gonna touch it right now, but it looks, it looks good. So we're cool. So here it is on the plate. And again, this I'm just gonna sample it because this is my dinner and it's only around four o'clock in the afternoon. So we're gonna give this a okay, try. Okay, so here goes. Let's try this out and I hope I don't know what to do with this thing that I'm in frame and focus, whatever, but I want to try it out. It's good. The biscuit's perfect. 
the seasonings are just right. It has enough salt, it has enough pepper. We did a good job. I should do a wrong, but I'm not Mommy Tang. Although I love Mommy Tang. And Mommy Tang, if you happen to see this, I hope that you come back to YouTube very soon because I miss you so much. Um, so thank you for watching. And again, please like, subscribe. Please, please, please give me suggestions in the, um, the comment section. I'm going to keep doing these, but if you give me things that you want, then I know we're interacting and you're watching and you want to know how to cook things or you want somebody else to try it before you spend the money on it. And again, this is all like beginner's food for vegans. Um, and I'm not a chef. I'm not a professional cook. Just a grandma on a vegan journey. And we can do this together. So let me know whatever you would like to see. And we'll give it a try. Again, thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.